This is Brett Waltamath of Starwatch Media here at the Beverly Hilton Hotel for the ninth annual Inspiration Awards benefiting the Step Up Women's Network. Hi, Meredith. Brett with Starwatch Media. It's a pleasure to speak with you this afternoon. We're here at the ninth annual Inspiration Awards benefiting Step Up Women's Network. How does it feel to be here and be supporting this evening? So exciting. This is my first time here with Step Up. And um, I was involved with a charity a number of years ago where we mentored young girls and helped to try and get them motivated with their grades and getting into college or finding a trade school. So to be involved with this this year feels really great because I was wanting to get back into that. So Another mentoring organization. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's really exciting and one of my friends, Terry Weinberg, is going to be honored today and then um, JL Pomery, she also is one of the ones who brought me in today, so yeah, I'm excited. Previously being part of a mentorship organization for uh, for young women, what was one of the main things that you would tell these young women in mentoring them? What, what's one of the main things that you felt they needed to know moving forward in life? I think that nobody's perfect, that we all have bad days and sometimes we all feel really down about ourselves. but just keep thinking about the big picture of what you want to accomplish and you may not accomplish it tomorrow but if you keep moving forward you might find that you get there in a roundabout way even if it's not the way you thought you were going to get there so it's more about it's okay to get down try and find a way to pick yourself up and keep moving with the economy still very fragile and and jobs still not what they used to be do you yeah, feel hello. <laughs> Too. Do you do you feel that these mentor mentorship problems are even more important now than ever because considering economic status alone? Yeah, I think because it, it's really easy to get frustrated and to get down and, and even in my career me and my friends are finding that as well and I think it's just about you know, I heard somebody say that in low economic times, people actually can be more inventive and more creative because they've got to find a way. There's that passion, that drive. So I think, yeah, if you can instill that in some of these girls or anybody to don't give up, keep finding. Again, it might be a roundabout way. You might find a different calling. You might get to a different place than you thought you were going. How do you first get involved in mentoring? Um, you know, I ended up going to a charity event uh, back in 2002, I think it was, and I met the woman who started the charity, and she said, do you have any interest in, besides just coming to the events, maybe helping out with our girls? And I was like, yeah, sign me up. Yeah, yeah so it just was fate, kismet. <laughs> any, any other projects for you or any other charity work that you're currently involved in? Uh, we just did an event for cystic fibrosis, which was wonderful. Um, and then I've got a movie screening right now at the Madrid Film Festival, and it was just here at the Dances with Films called The Lift, and it's a uh, 1920s. It's fun. Well, can you tell us a little bit more about the film and your role in the film? Um, it's called The Lift. It's I can't give too much away because I don't know where it's going to go, and there's a little twist at the end. But um, I'm a women's right movement woman in the 20s. And I am on a cross-country trip, and I end up picking up this stranger, a man, and taking him to Chicago. And some thriller mystery intrigue ensues. Well, congratulations on all your success. Much success in the future. And enjoy the award show. Thank you so much. Oh, such a pleasure.